Let's continue studying the transformer model. In the previous lecture, we have learned attention layers. Attention layers can be stacked to form a deep new network. In this lecture, we will stack attention layers and dense layers to build a transformer model. We have learned attention layer and self-attention layer. They are called single-head attentions. Single-head attentions can be combined to form multi-head attentions. The first topic in this lecture is multi-head attention. We have studied the self-attention layer. To be more precise, this is called single-head self-attention. The input is a sequence of m vectors, x1, 2, xm. The output is a sequence of m context vectors, c1 to cm. The layer has three parameter matrices, wq, wk, and wv. What is multi-head self-attention? The idea is extremely simple. Independently run multiple single-head self-attentions. The combined is the multi-head self-attention. The single-head self-attentions have the same inputs, but they don't share parameters. A single-head self-attention has three parameter matrices, wq, wk, and wv. If we run L independent single-head self-attentions, then the total number of parameter matrices is 3 times L. Each single-head self-attention outputs a sequence of context vectors. If we run L single-head self-attentions, then the outputs are L sequences of context vectors. The concatenations of the context vectors are the outputs of the multi-head self-attention. Suppose single-head self-attention's outputs are d-dimensional vectors. Then multi-head's outputs are ld-dimensional vectors. Analogously, we can do the same to attention layers. We independently run many single-head attentions. The combined is a multi-head attention. Each single-head attention outputs a sequence of context vectors. The concatenations of the context vectors are the outputs of the multi-head attention. Multi-head attention is just the combination of several single-head attentions. Each single-head attention has its own parameters which are not shared. We have studied the attention layer and the self-attention layer. They can be stacked to build a deep new network. Let's first build an encoder network. It has multi-head self-attention layers and dense layers. Let's first combine a self-attention layer and a dense layer. The inputs are m vectors, x1, 2, xm. Multi-head self-attention layer outputs m context vectors, c1, 2, cm. We can further build a dense layer that performs a nonlinear map. The dense layer has a parameter matrix wu. We multiply matrix wu and vector c1, and then apply ReLU activation function. Denote the result by vector u1. Then we use the same dense layer with the same parameter matrix wu. We multiply matrix wu and vector c2, and then apply the ReLU activation function. Denote the result by vector u2. Then we apply the same dense layer to c3 and get u3. We do the same to get the u vectors. Each vector c is mapped to a vector u. Note that all the dense layers have the same parameter matrix wu. They share parameters. We have built two layers a multi-head self-attention layer, and a dense layer. If the inputs are m vectors x1 to xm, then they will be m output vectors u1 to um. Note that an output vector ui depends not only on xi, but also on all the m input vectors. 
a change of any input vector x will change all the output vectors u1 to um. We can build the second multi-head self-attention layer and the second dense layer. The outputs will be m vectors. We can stack as many layers as we want. In this way, we build a deep neural network for processing a sequence of vectors. The number of vectors, m, can be arbitrary. If the input sequence has a length of m, then the output sequence also has a length of m. Now we are ready to build the encoder network of transformer. This is one block of the encoder. It is made of a multi-head self-attention layer and a dense layer. The input is a 512 by m matrix. 512 is the dimension of each input vector. m is the length of the sequence. You can think of m as the length of the sentence to translate. Different sentences have different lengths. The output is also a 512 by m matrix. The number 512 is just a setting in transformer. The dimensions do not have to be 512. The dimensions can be different. But the sequence length, m, must be the same. The input and output sequences have the same length. This is the architecture of the encoder network. The input is a 512 by m matrix. Each column is a word vector. This is the block we just built. It has a multi-head self-attention layer and a dense layer. Its output has the same shape as the input. This has a benefit. Skip connection can be applied. The input matrix can be added to the output matrix. Skip connection is just a standard trick for improving deep learning. I don't want to discuss its details. Then we build the second block. The output is also a 512 by m matrix. You can build as many blocks as you want. Transformers encoder network has a total of 6 blocks. Each block has 2 layers. Each block has its own trainable parameters. The parameters are not shared across layers. The final output is a 512 by m matrix. You can think of its columns as feature vectors extracted from the input sentence. The output shape is the same as the input shape, but it is totally fine if you make the dimensions different. For example, you can set the output dimension to be 100 or 1000, it's up to you. We have used self-attention layers and dense layers to build the encoder network. Next, let's use self-attention, attention, and dense layers to build the decoder network. Transformer is a sequence-to-sequence -sequence model. It has an encoder and a decoder. The encoder's inputs are a sequence of vectors x1 to xm. The decoder's inputs are another sequence of vectors, x prime 1 to x prime t. For example, we can use transformer for translating English to German. Then the encoder's inputs are the embedding of English words. The English sentence has m words. The decoder's inputs are the German word vectors that the model has generated so far x prime 1 to x prime t means so far the model has generated a total of t German words. We have already built an encoder network. It has six stacked blocks. Each block has two layers, a multi-head attention layer and a dense layer. The encoder maps the input sequence x1 to xm to vectors u1 to um. Let's build one block of the decoder network. The first block is multi-head self-attention. It maps the input sequence x prime 1 to x prime t to vectors c1 to ct. The inputs and outputs are all 512 dimensional vectors. The second layer is multi-head attention. The inputs are two sequences. The left sequence is the output of the encoder network. 
The vectors are the features extracted from the encoder's inputs. The right sequence is what we got a moment ago. The outputs of the multi-head attention are the T vectors, Z1 to Zt. The length of the output sequence is the same as the decoder sequence. The lengths are both T. Finally, we build a dense layer. It maps vector Z1 to vector S1. Its parameter matrix is WS. We apply the same dense layer to Z2 and get S2. Apply the same dense layer to all the Z vectors and get a sequence of outputs S1 to ST. To this end, we have built one block of the decoder network. The block maps two input sequences to one output sequence. Here is the decoder block we built. The inputs are two sequences. The left is the output of the encoder network. The right is the decoder's input sequence. The two sequences have different lengths. Their lengths are respectively M and T. The block has three layers, self-attention layer, attention layer, and dense layer. The output shape of the block is the same as the right sequence. They are both 512 by T. The right figure is an abbreviation of the decoder block. The inputs are two sequences. The output is one sequence. To this end, we have all the building blocks ready. We are about to use the blocks to build the transformer model. This is the encoder network we built. It's made of six blocks. Each block has a self-attention layer and a dense layer. The input is matrix X. Its columns are the word vectors of the source language to translate. The output is matrix U. It has the same shape as the input matrix X. Let's build the decoder network. The inputs are two sequences. One is matrix U. It is the output of the encoder network. The other is matrix X prime. The output is a 512 by T matrix. Its shape is the same as X prime. Then the second block. The block also has two inputs. One is matrix U, the output of the encoder network. The other input is the output of the previous decoder block. The output of the second block is a 512 by T matrix. It has the same shape as the decoder's input. We repeat this process to build more blocks. Transformer builds a decoder network using a total of six blocks. Each block has three layers, self-attention, attention, and dense. The encoder and the decoder combined is the transformer model. Transformer maps two sequences to one sequence. The final output is a 512 by T matrix. I left out lots of details. The actual implementation of transformer has additional tricks. But you got the main idea. You know how to build a sequence-to-sequence -sequence model using attention and self-attention. Let's revisit the RN sequence-to-sequence -sequence model. It has two input sequences. The encoder's inputs are x1 to xm. The decoder's inputs are x prime 1 to x prime t. Recall that the inputs of transformer are also the two sequences. The outputs of the decoder network are s1 to st. The input sequence and output sequence of the decoder both have a length of t. This is the same as the transformer model. In sum, transformer has the same input and output shapes as the RN sequence-to-sequence -sequence model. Therefore, whatever RN sequence-to-sequence -sequence model can do, the transformer model can do the same. 
let's apply the transformer model to machine translation. It works similarly to the RN sequence to sequence model. This is the encoder. Its input and output are both 512 by M matrices. Let's zoom in the encoder network. The encoder network has six blocks. Each block contains a multi head self attention layer and a dense layer. Suppose a transformer seeks to translate English to German. The input is an English sentence that has M words. M is not fixed. Different sentences have different lengths. Each English word is embedded into a 512 dimensional vector X. Taking X1 to XM as inputs, the encoder outputs a sequence of vectors, U1 to UM. The outputs are the features extracted from the input sentence. After running the encoder network, we got matrix U. Its columns are U1 to UM. Matrix U carries all the information of the English sentence. Matrix U is then fed into the decoder network. Matrix U is the only source that the decoder knows the English sentence. Then the decoder starts generating a German sentence. The generated German sentence is the result of translation. Start sign is the first token of the German sentence. We use some embedding method to map the token to vector x prime 1. x prime 1 is fed into the decoder. The decoder outputs a vector y1. Note that y1 depends on vector x prime 1 and matrix u. y1 is a probability distribution over the German vocabulary. We randomly sample a German word according to the probability distribution described by vector y1. Alternatively, we can select the German word with the biggest probability. The selected word becomes the first word in the translated sentence. Then we do the same to embed the word into vector x prime 2. The sequence x prime 1, x prime 2 are fed into the decoder, and the decoder outputs y1 and y2. Note that y2 depends on x prime 1, x prime 2, and matrix u. y2 is a probability distribution over the German vocabulary. We randomly sample a German word according to the probability distribution. The selected word becomes the next word in the translated sentence. The generated word is mapped into vector x prime 3. Taking x prime 1, x prime 2, x prime 3 as inputs, the decoder outputs vectors y1, y2, y3. Y3 depends on all the three vectors, x prime 1, x prime 2, x prime 3. Y3 also depends on matrix U. We do random sampling according to Y3 to generate a German word. After T repeats, the decoder generated the Tth German word. Then we repeat the same process to embed the word into vector x prime T. Taking x prime 1 to x prime t as inputs, the decoder outputs the sequence y1 to yt. Note that yt depends on all the vectors x prime 1 to x prime t. yt also depends on matrix u. We do a random sampling according to yt. We may happen to get the stop sign. If the sample word is the stop sign, that we stop running the decoder and return the generated German sentence. In this lecture, we began from single head self attention and a single head attention, and we eventually build the transformer model. Let me summarize this lecture. Single head self attentions can be combined to form a multi head self attention. It works in this way. The input is such a sequence of m vectors, denoted by matrix big X. Feed the sequence X into a single head self-attention. 
The output is a sequence of m vectors. We run several single head self attentions independently. Feed the sequence x into a different single head self attention. The output is also a sequence of vectors. Do the same to map x into another sequence of vectors. In this example, we used three different single head self attentions. They do not share parameters. Each has its own parameter matrices. The length of the three sequences are all equal to m. That is, the length of the input sequence, x. Finally, concatenate the C matrices. This is the output of the first single head self attention. This is the output of the second single head self attention. And this is the output of the third single head self attention. The taller matrix is the final output of multi head self attention. We can do the same to combine many single head attentions to form a multi head attention. Just to concatenate the output vectors. Transformer has an encoder network and a decoder network. The encoder network is made of six blocks. Each block has its own parameters. Different blocks have different parameters. One block basically has two layers an 8 head self attention layer and a dense layer. The input shape and output shape are the same. They are both 512 by m. m is the length of the input sentence, that is, the sentence to translate has m words. Different sentences have different lengths. The decoder network is made of 6 blocks. One block has 3 layers, an 8 head self attention, an 8 head attention, and a dense layer. The inputs are two sequences. One corresponds to the source sentence to translate, and the other corresponds to the generated sentence. Their shapes are 512 by M and 512 by T. The output shape is 512 by T. I have briefly introduced the transformer model without going into every detail. If you want to know more about transformer, you can Google the original paper, related articles, and source code. Transformer is a sequence-to-sequence -sequence model. It has an encoder and a decoder. It can be used for machine translation. For example, the encoder takes as input an English sentence, and the decoder generates German words one by one. Transformer is analogous to RNs, but it is not RN. It does not have recurrence. Transformer is purely based on attention, self-attention, and dense layers. If you are going to do research on deep learning, you must know Transformer. Transformer is the state of the art. It outperforms the RN models on most natural language processing tasks. The downside of Transformer is the computation. It is much more expensive than RN models. You cannot work with Transformer unless you have many GPUs. To this end, you should have got the main idea of Transformer and know its important components. Thank you for watching this video. The link to my slides can be found below the video.